the many exciting aspects of a link state routing protocol is the fact that it is more sophisticated than a distance vector protocol. One element of that sophistication that I want to show you with the command line is with the classic link state routing protocol like Open Shortest Path First, OSPF. One of the really cool things about OSPF is that it functions thanks to three internal databases. We have the neighbor database or neighbor table, also referred to as the adjacency database. We have the topology table, also referred to as the topology database or link state database with OSPF. And then we have the routing table, also known as the forwarding database or forwarding table that OSPF will utilize on the device. Let's take a look at all three of these structures at the actual command line. So here we are at R2, and I'll do first the neighbor table or adjacency table. We do show IP OSPF neighbor, and we can see that we have an adjacency with the device with router ID 100, 100, 101. So here is the adjacency or neighbor table that OSPF is relying upon. How about the topology or link state database or table? Let's take a look. Show IP OSPF database. And here we can see the topology database filled with this link state information for OSPF. And as you get more advanced with your career in Cisco networking, or in networking in general for that matter, you'll begin to decipher every single ingredient that's in this important topology database. And then finally, the routing table. Show IP route. In fact, if you want to restrict it to just the OSPF routes, which is perfect for this discussion, we do show IP route OSPF, and here we can see the forwarding database or routing table that makes up the best paths in OSPF to get to particular destinations. So here we have these three powerful databases that make up the operational characteristics of OSPF. I hope you'll join me here at stormwind.com for more interesting videos on these fascinating networking topics here in CCNA.